hi everyone welcome back to our channel my channel okay um when your skin barrier is being compromised so many things can cause um, damage to your skin barrier but most causes of skin barrier damage is the fact that you indulge in the wrong skin care practice that's most of the time aside from the fact that weather can also um, affect our skin barrier especially during the hammer time the weather could get really dry but it still boils down to the fact that your skin care also plays a major role because when it's hammer time you recognize the fact that it's hammer time and you need to step up or change some things about your skincare you know if you're seeing this face for the first time my name is asma zakari i'm a personal care uh, cosmetic from later for good skin and hair and um, thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like my video drop your comments in the comment section so today i am um practically going to demonstrate a video for um am that is morning and then also pm that is night yeah routine skincare routine for a damaged skin barrier once your skin barrier is damaged there are so many things you need to stay away from one of such things you need to stay away from is exfoliation anybody that tells you to exfoliate your skin when your skin barrier is being compromised when it's a mess when it's you're so uncomfortable and they ask you to uh, no 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 don't go near exfoliation either physical or chemical exfoliation is not for you keep that at the back burner then your retinol too has to also be at the back burner your vitamin c your AHAs, BHAs, of course, they are all under chemical exfoliation. Should also stay at the back burner, like they should just go on sabbatical. If you know what I'm trying to say to you, because at that moment you don't need any active, especially any harsh one, on your skin. You need to focus more on hydration, hydration, sun protection, healing as well. So this is my morning skincare routine for a damaged skin barrier. Meanwhile, when you have a damaged skin barrier, um, you have to avoid washing your face two times in a day. In fact, basically, I see it as a practice that is suitable for oily skin type. If you don't have an oily skin type, for me, I don't think there's any need for you to wash your face twice a day. Truly, truly. But if you have an oily skin type, fine, you can do that. Meanwhile, washing your face should be once a day and it should be at night. The reason being that, of course, all the dirt and the dust and all that and all that has laid on your skin during the day. So at night, of course, you can't go to bed without washing your face. But in the morning, basically, you're not so exposed to a lot of pollutants, exactly. So definitely, you would just rinse your face with just ordinary water and you're good to go. I hope I'm not talking too much. Let me go straight forward. But before I start, I just have to show you the products that I am going to work with. I'm working with just three products. Yes, just three products because less is better when you have a skin barrier damage even if you don't have a skin barrier damage at the end of the day and um, this less is better when you look at my videos of skincare routine i don't overdo things yes i like moderation so basically i have three products here which for me two might be really 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 compulsory and one could be optional even though it's also awesome very very awesome of course is the essence yeah made out of ginseng root then i have um my facial toner this is made from the green tea extract the last but not the least i have my spf basically i just go in with my spf because the spf is equally moisturizing so this is just what i'm working with so i am focusing on hydration and then moisturizing so rinsing my face with just water take note just water in the morning Although you might need to rinse your, or you might need to wash your face sometimes with um, a, a, a mild, gentle face wash. If you had an occlusive like the petroleum jelly a night before, because if I had an occlusive like petroleum jelly a night before this morning, um, using my toners and my essence, they might not get the deep penetration because, of course, occlusive like petroleum jelly seals in and does not allow anything in and out of your skin. So rinsing properly with as much water as you can. I'm not saying you should waste water, <laughs> but then rinse with good amount of water so honestly basically at this point i think i have rinsed with good amount of water yeah as you can see good amount 
exactly so i'm moving on on with a damp skin right now my skin is wet so i have to wait for it to be a little bit damp then i move on to the next step of toning essence and the last but not the least my spf that is for my am skincare routine so starting my routine properly i'm starting with a toner you know the thing about the skin barrier is the fact that it's always thirsty like what i mean is always thirsty it needs a lot of hydration yes so i'm starting with the toner i'm using my hands yeah the technique of the hands and make sure your hands are clean obviously i just finished watching my face so my hands are clean and i'm putting it down like applying it down to my neck as well hydration is key when your skin barrier has been compromised very very key the next thing i'm moving on to is my essence extra hydration like you know what when you, even if you do not have a damaged skin barrier even if you have a healthy skin barrier hydrate your skin and you will thank me for this later hydration is key to the skin it's very very important so moving on to last but not the least is my spf i'm using an spf 30 and i'm taking this much um it's a mineral spf obviously with the zinc um, oxide and the titanium dioxide as the field as the sun protection obviously and so you expect this white cast but um when you massage it onto the skin after a while you get a better um appearance on your skin yeah and um the, the more it stays on the skin it settles so at least when you apply your spf 10 to 15 minutes before you step out of the house so obviously before you actually step out of the house it's much more will i say it's much more clearer right don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for the pm routine bye